What's up, YouTube? Set up here back with another video. And I feel like I ain't talked to y'all in a while. But trust me, I have still been active. I have still been trading. Um reason I didn't do no monthly weekly review was because mainly um I didn't do the weekly markup. Because last week, as you guys know, Chairman Powell was speaking. So um they were discussing about inflation, what their what their plans are gonna be coming up and stuff like that. So I didn't do no weekly markups. Um, mainly because you guys know it's not really predictable. It's not very predictable. So to say that the market was going to more than likely move a certain way and stuff like that, yeah, it's not really, you know, can't really do that until the news actually comes out. So that's the reason I didn't do no weekly markups or no weekly market review because what was I going to review if I didn't know weekly markups? But, um, I am in some trades right now. I don't know if you got, uh, yeah, I can kind of see. You can see that I'm in trades, but I'm going to go over like, you know, some of the trades that I mean. I did do no weekly markups for this week as well, mainly because I'm in school. So Sunday had homework, but I'm going to show you guys how my trades are looking right now. So let's get to that real quick. All right. So starting off, um, I'm in USD CAD right now. It's in profit. Pretty good trade so far. Uh, let's go to USDJPY. I'm in USDJPY as well. And this was a really, really, really good trade. Um, I'm liking this setup so far. Everything is more than like like on the two, two to one ratio or three to one ratio. I got USDJPY on um, three to one ratio, mainly because this is where I see the next um, support. It may not even sell down as low, but it will be a retest of a trend that broke earlier. So I'm expecting USDJPY to come all the way down there. Let's go to GU. GU is also in good profits right now. So everything is in really, really, really good profits right now. GJ is still going on. Um, let me spread this out. So. GJ is still in really good profits. It haven't hit TP yet. It got really, really close to TP, but it just haven't hit yet. And EN, I just hopped in. Um, I haven't put the short yet, but I am in it for um, a short. Broke broke this resistance though. I mean, it broke this support that was right here. And I feel like it's about to become a resistance. So I'm just waiting on some confirmations. Um, so let me know like this is ready to sell down But I am planning on hopping in EN and I just hopped in gold right now as well um, Go down to the lower time frame. So minor structure It just um I feel like this is about to buy up Right now But I missed the initial buy which I marked up on Sunday right here I missed that buy um, but I do feel like this is the next entry for gold. So we will see, but it just broke here. It broke this um, resistance. I feel like now it's about to become a support because it came down, retested and bounced up, retested again. It is still rejecting a little bit. So I feel like this is now about to continue back up at least to this previous high. And um, that would be TP1, but we'll see by the end of this week. Today is currently Tuesday, so we still got a while to trade or see how this trade plays out. But yeah, that's pretty much how I'm expecting this trade to go. And right now, it's looking pretty good. I like it. I like the setup, even on the major time frames. I do like this setup, so yeah. But those are the trades that I'm in so far, so we're gonna see how those play out but let's get back to some more information that i gotta let you guys know about so if you guys follow me on instagram then you already know 
we have now introduced NFTs into Capital Firehouse program. Um, it's part, it's still part of the trading course right now. So if you go to capitalpowerhouse.org and join the program through there, you know, still buy the trading course and it'll be part of their course for right now, at least. Um, but we have finally introduced NFTs. So right now we have forex trading. Um, we talk about stocks, we talk about crypto trading as well, and now NFTs. So pretty, pretty nice lineup right now of um investment programs that we are talking about well, not really investment programs but investment um building that we are talking about right now and if you guys know about like all the downfall and stuff like that or the crypto and stock mainly crypto right now stocks are kind of you know having a little uprise on well some of them on the main stocks if you guys are investing in the right stocks but crypto is still um it's kind of I want to say it's like kind of going back and forth it has came up a little bit but i definitely feel like it's still about to drop down um very very soon so yeah but still looking forward to march for me to really put in my big investments and stuff like that and see how the market reacts then right now i ain't gonna lie right now i'm in a whole lot of like learning right now because this is something that I haven't really traded in before. And it's going to be something new for me. At least trading in a time like this where a lot of stuff is falling. Where tapering is going on. Where they're um, stopping like quantitative easing and stuff like that. Which is basically them taking money out the market that they put in over the past two years and stuff like that. So, it's kind of like a new process to me. So, I'm really learning more so than like just hopping in trade out trade out the trade um so yeah i'm gonna see i want i want to see how the market's gonna react and stuff like that um last wednesday though when the news was going on i missed a 500 pip move bro i was sick i ain't gonna lie i was sick um uh, i missed a 500 point move on nas and i literally just watched it happen because like I went into the group chat and I told them like what I was pretty much expecting from this um, news and I was looking for the sale. I wanted the sale to happen and um, it's so on oh, Nas. Nice. I was only looking at Nas nice, though, but US 30 dropped down as well and SPS. Um, but yeah, I was mainly just looking at Nas nice that morning because I, I don't like to look at too much stuff you know what i'm saying especially when i'm like um scalping i only like to look at one pair pay attention to that one pair and trade it so yeah i was pretty much just i wasn't even mad about it honestly i'm still not even mad about it but it was like you know it still would have been nice to take that trade what the reason that i didn't take it was because i got married to an entry like i got married to an entry basically i was like okay if it comes here I'm gonna take that trade. And then the first time it came there, it was like shooting up. Cause like this is at the it, this is at the time that Jerome was speaking. So it's like you never really know what this man is gonna say, right? You never really know what they're gonna say. So at the time he was speaking and the like the stuff that he was saying it was kind of pushing the market up. This is when it had just started. So it was still freshly into the QA. And it's like, okay. It's still the beginning of the Q&A. Let me see how, you know, how the rest of it is going to go. Or, like, how the next couple minutes are going to go or whatever. So, uh, it was pushing up a little bit. And I was thinking it was probably going to go higher. Because earlier on in that candlestick, it did shoot up. And then it would come back down. And then it shot up again. So, it was kind of doing, like, a lot of back and forth. So, I was pretty much just trying to see if it was going to stay up. Or if it was going to continue to shoot down. And, yeah. It never did come back up there and it just kept shooting down. And, I, and every time like, it, every time it was just shooting down more and more, I was just thinking like, okay, like where could I possibly take an entry? And I never did feel confident enough in taking some of the entries. But you know, after looking back and stuff like that, I see now that I definitely could have took some of the entries. Um, but yeah. That's pretty much how last week went. Um, still a very, very, very profitable week because Euro NZD ended up in TP and GBP JPY 
it's still you know ongoing right now those were the two trades that i took last week and i did take knives but i um i only got like 100 points out of it and then it came back and hit my stop loss but my stop loss was at profit so i didn't really i didn't really gain much from it um what else gold yeah gold also traveled 300 points so gold traveled 300 points um gj is still ongoing right now and your nzd hit take profit for um 117 pips so it was a very profitable week still i didn't take any usd pairs though like usd cad usd jpy euro usd or gu i didn't take any trade in that um really no reason why honestly um well it was a reason why but it was like now thinking about it i could have took some trades in it but it, like i said um news was coming out you don't really know what is going to be said how the market is going to react so that's the reason i didn't take any so that's my update for the <laughs> for the week coming up and this week as well so I'm going to get back with y'all later on. Right now, I'm going to watch some videos and study. And then, I'm going to just watch these trades play out. So, I'm going to get with y'all probably at the end of this week. So, if anything does come up or if anything does change, you know, I'm going to do a video in the middle of the week. Um, But, yeah. I'm going to see y'all in this video, man. I'm out.